that a bite? Oh yeah. Holy crap. That's good. Look at that. It's crispy. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm by the breakers and I'm gonna be fishing. I got some frozen squid and some dead oama for bait. This place is known for a lot of towels and some little papillos, so hopefully we can catch that. Before we get started guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, wish me luck. I got a dunking pole right here. This pole is going to be dunking all the Oama and my whooping pole is just going to have a piece of squid on it. So we'll see how it does. Here's the dead Oama, I got four. It's not even warm season, guys. It's May. This is the remainder of Wama I caught from last time I went Wama fishing. Just go throw it out there. Right, right there. Now for this whipping pole, set this up. All right, I'm gonna put on some bait for this pole. You got a piece of squid, you're gonna hook it on times and then throw it out there ASAP all right is this something or what oh I don't think so oh maybe it was a Roy Guarantee a Roy, guys. Cut the line, and I think it was stuck for a while. Roy or eel? Shoot. Sun is about to go over the mountain. Is that a bite? Oh yeah. Got something guys. Oh, are you kidding me? Dang it. It's a Tawau, I think. No.
Damn, I think I stuck real quick. No, there's no way out of this one, guys. Ah, shocks! Don't know what that was. I'm gonna start tying it another rig because I think it's gonna break. But I'm gonna wait. Alright guys, sometimes you just gotta break it and keep fishing. Shocks. Oh, broke at the hook. I don't even need to tie this rig. Alright, let's get right back out there. I think we lost the towel. Right in, there's a ledge right in the front and it got stuck in that. It's hard to avoid that. I was trying to reel it in as fast as possible to get over that ledge, but nope. Me on here? I do. On the llama. Oh, no, I don't. Gosh. That's what I got. Got an eel, guys. Of course. Got too excited there. Alright, let the yield swim away. Check the line. Gotta check the line. Alright. It's pretty good actually. It's good. These are big guys. These aren't no baby Oamas. Not anymore. I think I should, should have changed the hook to a bigger hook. Stuck. It was a fish. What? Come on. Lunch. Here we come right here, right? Yeah, beautiful towel, bro. I thought it was stuck. I turned off the camera even. All right, we'll cook this guy up for lunch. Yeah, beautiful fish. actually not a bad one made my entire layer freighted that was crazy it was stuck like so stuck but for some reason I just decided to wait and then it came out
I didn't know I had a fish on. I just thought I was stuck in a rock. Something's nibbling. No! Could be just little fish, but twelve sometimes nibble too. All right, guys. I think I used all my bait, so I might be heading out soon. All right, see you at home. I'm gonna cold cook the towel that I just caught. Fresh towel for lunch. All right, let's go. All right, I'm back at home and this is the towel caught this morning. It's actually bigger than I thought. It's a nice size one. All right. Let me get a ruler. It's around 10. Yeah. 10 inch to wow. Pretty cool. Yeah. Perfect launch. Alright, so of course I'm gonna start cleaning them, scale them and gut them. Let's do it. All right, there it is, all clean. All right, there we go. Well, it's kind of wet, so I'm gonna dry it off with some paper towel. Let the fish dry. This helps it crisp up. If it's wet, it's not going to fry that well. So I'm just gonna make it dry. Simple. Got some salt, pepper. Boom. Sprinkle them on. Like that. Put over. flour here. Sprinkle that baby on there. Ooh, way too much. It's fine. Sprinkle the flour. Perfectly. It's a little too much. Okay. It's good. Ready to fry.
Holy crap. That's good. Look at that. It's crispy. Oh, that goes. That's so good. Dang. So flavorful and it's so crispy. The meat perfectly cooked. 